under the Vedic Maths level 1 and 2, we have studied some Vedic methods for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division also. For the multiplication and division, we have learned different methods like Eka Nyunena Purvena or Urvatiryabhyam or Nikhilam method. Like that, Paravartya Sutra also we have learned. But you can see when the sum is in front of you and you want to solve the sum, what you can do that you have option to decide according to your convenience that which method can be used for multiplication or division. That is there is no any particular rule that for this uh, this sum you have to use the say this method only. Because for example, suppose I will say that I have a sum like 845 multiplied by 999. See, I can observe the numbers or the digits are big. That is 999. So this Urva Tirabhyam method is not useful. Because when you will go for the cross multiplication and add them, the numbers will become more bigger and bigger. And then it will be complicated or cumbrous for us to do the calculation. So what we can do? We can do, do the Eka Nyunena method. You remember the Eka Nyunena method, what we have learned in the level 2? That is 845 is the number and we are multiplying 999. So what I will do? 440, 845 minus 1. Eka Nyunena. That is one less from the previous. And then I will subtract this from whatever it is 999 minus the my answer will be of course 845 and so I will subtract 845 from 999 so the answer will be I can write directly the answer that is 844 and the subtraction is of course 5 5 and 1 so the answer will be 844155 okay so this is useful that is whatever i have done in eka new dena will be useful for this particular multiplication suppose you have to use uh, the second sum i will take it as suppose i want to take number second that is 8 1 7 and I am going to multiply it by 3, 3, 2. Now you see there is no 9, 9 methods. Whatever we have learned in magic of 9. That is this magic of 9 only you can use very easily a in a method. But here 9's are not there and the number in this multiplicand are also very small. That is 3 and 2 only. So what you can do? In the one line method, that is our Vedic method, you can do the Urdhva Tiryabhyam method. That is, first go on multiplying this, 2 into 7, it will be 14, so 1 will be there. Then uh, cross multiply these two, 7, 3 is our 21 plus 2, that is 23, so right here 3 and 2. Then cross multiply, 8, 2 is 16, plus 7, 3 is 21, plus 3, 1 is 3. So add together, you will get 40. Again, 3, 8 is 24, plus 3, that is 27, and then 8, 3 is 24. And so in one line you can say my answer is 2, 7, 1, 2, 4, 4. For this if you uh, try to use the Eka Nyunena it will become more complicated and it is very easy when the digits are very uh, small or lower than 5 you can see. Okay. See, again I will take one more example that suppose the digits are very big and I will say 
989 multiplied by 989 here also you see there is no 999 so you cannot use magic of 9 but see what you can do it here also you can use the nikhilam method okay why because to multiply by the urva tiryabhyam method it is very difficult 9 and 8s are there so to multiply 9 9 9 9 9 and 8 the number will become more and more bigger and bigger and so what we will use the third method that is nikhilam method so i will decide my base first for the nikhilam that is my base will be 1000 because this is three digit number and then they are all nearer to 1000 also by nikhilam 989 are less by 11 that is last from 10 and all rest from 9 we know here are also 11 and what we will do 989 subtract 11 from it so you will get 8 7 9 and the multiplication of minus minus will be plus 121 so my answer will be 978121 okay so like this i have shown you all the three methods and how we can select them by the number form okay so this depends upon you which method you are selecting and at what cause you are doing it in a shortcut method or with a long cut method the long cut methods we are not learning here for Vedic mass are we are learning as Vedic mass can be explained as a single line method and so the single line method that is the shortcut methods and we want to use the shortcuts so here also now for the division the three examples I think they are sufficient because in level 1 and 2 we have done so many sums like this in uh, that part so now we will go for the division so in the division what we can see you can observe the nikhilam method is always very easy when the base is there and any number like 8 9 or when a big number is there the nikhilam method because these big numbers are nearer to the base suppose i want to multiply it like by divide not multiply now i'm going to show you some two or three sums by the nikhilam method and so division nine and i want to divide it by uh, 33 divided by nine so i have a sum that is 33 divided by nine see you will say we can do this sum orally also but uh, only to revise our nikhilam method what i am going to do take a 1 from here because there is a difference of 1 in the base then as there is a single digit make an, a straight, a straight line after one digit only and then you will see the first digit will be there as it is 3 then 3 1 that 3 and so this will be the remainder and so my quotient is 3 and the remainder is 6 you can check it orally also 9 threes are 27 and 27 plus 6 will give you 33 okay so our nikhilam method is very useful again a small example of this suppose i want to divide by 989 to what number suppose i will take a small number only because for that i can check it orally so 111 so what I want it now 111 divided by 89 here the single digit is there so I have marked a line after a single digit now here there are two digits and so I will mark a line after two digits okay now again Nikhilam so the last from the 10 and the rest from the 9 so there will be 1 1 then after that one will be like that only then 11 ones are 11 and so here it will be 22 so the quotient will be 1 and the remainder will be 
22. Okay? So you know how to find out the Nikhilam method useful for division. One more sum I will do it because if you will see the numbers are small, the Nikhilam is useful. Not only that, I will do also the big number that is dividing by suppose uh, 9, 8, 1, 9. I will do one bigger number 9, 8, 1, 9 and I want to divide. Of course, I want to select a dividend a bigger than that. So, I will take suppose 20137 divided by 9819. Okay. So, this is a big division. And so, what I will do? 2 and as there are 4 digits, I will make a slash after uh, 4 digits. And then by the Nikhilam, the last from 10, the others from 9. And so, there will be... 0, 1, 8, 9. See the first one will be there like that. 2 and so now I want to multiply by 2. 2 zeros are 0. 2 ones are 2. Then 2 eights are 16. And so I will write here 6 and 1 here. 2 ones are 2. Okay. So now we want to just add 7 plus 2 is 9. 6 plus 3 is 9, 1 plus 2 is 3 and the 1 carry over from the 16 is 4. And so my quotient will be 2 and the remainder will be 4, 9, 9. Okay, like this we have done the Nikilam Sutra. Of course, Paramarthi Sutra is also useful or the Vinkilam method also you can do. So here... Whatever we have done in that division, remember, we have accomplished our division work in full without actual doing any division. But what have we have done? We have not, not done the division at all. We have, we can use of vinculum, that is the last part of it. And then we have seen only the multiplication and additions are there. I have, we have taken the complement of that. And then again by multiplication and addition are there. So we have converted division work into a multiplication and addition which are comparatively very easy by this division. Okay. Now see we have done this all in our first and second level. Uh, level and now we have want to find out some more different part for the level 3. That is the same division methods are there. But now we will go it for the algebraic expressions. 